Hello everyone, my name is Darius Young, and welcome to Modeling Lucario Part 9. Uh, so, we're basically about 98% finished. Uh, I say 98% because we've got to do this uh, little fluffy bit here. And so, to do that real fast, just hit uh, tab in the edit mode, hit control R, add an edge loop here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to control go to face select mode we're going to select all these faces in here now we're going to hit i for inset and except for uh we're going to choose we're going to choose individual uh faces instead of just you know uh all of them together and uh let's go to individual origins and scale these down a bit then let's scale them let's hit alt s scale them out there we go now we're going to hit e for extrude scale these out scale them in and move them up uh, Hmm, that seems a bit sloppy, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to act like I didn't do that. So let's just control Z all the way back. Okay, now we're going to do something a bit uniform. We're going to hit I for inset here. We're going to change that, and we're going to uncheck individual. We want this face here. So E to extrude, extrude that out, G to grab, scale it down, move it right there. This is the way we see it in the image, and then we can bring this to right there. So it's not quite there, uh, but it's alright. Then we hit I for inset this one. Let's do that again. Actually, we can just turn off clipping real quick and just extrude this one scale it now uh, turn off proportional editing huh I just don't think that's a good idea okay I actually I don't think blender thinks that that's a good idea because it won't let me do it um, okay we'll do it with these so select those and hit E for extrude Extrude those out, scale them in, move it right there. So you find you find workarounds. Oh, but that's an ugly workaround. Okay, you know what? We'll just stick with this. And um, gonna follow all the way around. So E to extrude, scale it down, let's move that there. Uh, e to extrude, scale it down, move that like that. I guess that can be this one. Actually, control R because this one has a bit of thickness to it. Gonna go here, scale it down, select all this, bring it in, and one more E to extrude, scale it down. I for inset this one because it's in the middle. I guess we could just G to grab, move that out, scale it down. Okay, so for a personal preference, this looks a lot better. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now we gotta fix these blue streaks in here. That's okay, just select those. Go to your materials tab and check the milky color. Or, yeah, milky brown color. There we go. And so, the modeling part for Lucario is basically done for. So, we can now get rid of these background images because we don't need them. Um, and uh, before I end the tutorial, I want to show you all how to get anime cartoon shading on your character. So, let's just uh, shift S, curse the center. And, uh, now, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to change this back to a uh, medium point and we're going to go change the shading to material. Now uh, we're going to set up the lights first. So we're going to want <coughs> uh, one light right here. Uh, so this is the main light. We're going to have a back light. So shift D to duplicate that and click it here and then shift D to duplicate this light and this is the fill light okay <clears throat> now I'm gonna change this light to a sun I think yes and then these hit GZ bring those down uh, okay, so it doesn't look like much now, but give it a second, and I'll show you <coughs> what to do. So, select Lucario, and uh, <coughs> this is a lot to do with the materials. So, uh, select your material up here, and then under the word diffuse, where it says Lambert, click that and change it to Fresnel. It looks like friends friends nail but just it's just it's pronounced for now <laughs> you change that and it already looks uh cartoony or whatnot right but we're not quite done yet we're going to change the cook tour to tune and we're going to turn the smooth all the way down and then we're going to change the color I'm going to get the uh, color picker tool and click on that. So now it's blue. <clears throat> so now you see it looks cartoony as far as shading goes. And so we're going to do that with every single material. So follow these settings exactly. Uh, I may time, yeah, I'm going to time lapse this part. I showed you how to do it on one uh, material. Now just do the exact same thing for this material on all other materials. So uh, do that, and then I'll see you uh, when you're done. Now with this material right here, the uh, gray one, we can leave this color white because they're they're pretty close anyway. So don't worry about that but do the same thing to all the other materials. Okay, so now that that's completed, now Lucario looks cartoony. You see all the uh, cartoon lines and shaded lines and whatnot. And so now, uh, with the lighting, the fill light, so you see the sun is on his energy is one. We don't want the fill and back lights energy to be all one. So let's change the fill lights energy to 0.5. And let's change the back lights energy to 0.2. Okay. So now it's it looks like the light is actually coming from here and it's just reflecting off these other surfaces. Uh, in fact. We can probably. I'm just. I'm just testing this out. It's generally good to have three lights, but I'm seeing something. Uh, huh. Okay. Um, you can actually delete the other light and keep the back light, and you'll end up with the cartoon look where it has like three or four different shades of the same color. Uh, kind of like Dragon Ball Z, or when the good quality Dragon Ball Z anyway. <laughs> um, that looks really nice. That looks really nice. In fact, you can actually you still because I'm seeing that this looks rather black, but that's probably because of the shade of blue it is. Yeah, I think it's because of the shade of blue. So that's how Lucario is gonna look. And then if you want to look at him, you know, without all this uh, mess in the way, just hit Shift Space Bar, hit T, and then uh, on your end panel, go to Display and check Only Render, then hit N again. And now you can see uh, Lucario in his full glory. So, the modeling for Lucario is complete. So, in the next tutorial, we will go over rigging. 
So, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more modeling character loot tutorials. <laughs> I was about to say loot tutorials. <laughs> anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Have a good day.